Okay, so we have the Tech One computer plugged into the OBD2 port on the 94ZR1, and the ignition key is on, and it's asking us uh, to press Enter to start. Then we're going to select General Motors, which is F0. Then it's going to ask us um, for the model year. The model year is 94, so you're going to hit 94. And then it's going to ask you, how do you want to identify the vehicle? In our case, we're going to put F0. And it's already selected uh, VIN J for the ZR1 LT5 engine. So we're going to press Enter. And it says, is this a 5.7 liter dual overhead cam Corvette? We say yes. Do we want to enter the diagnostics? As soon as we do that, it says stop the, stop the engine, turn the key to run, which is already on run, and press enter. So it says, is the malfunction, or is the uh, malfunction indicator lamp on steady? And it is on the dash, say yes. Is the um, thing flashing? Say yes. So now it's going to uh, initialize communication with the computer, and then it's gonna ask you what you wanna do. In our case, we wanna turn the secondaries on, and that's under F4 miscellaneous tests. So we're gonna hit F4. And then in F4, we want to do an output test, which is F0. So you're going to hit F0. It says up arrow turns things on, down arrow turns them off. If you scroll through this list or let it computer scroll through it, F7 is going to be the secondaries. So we're going to hit F7 for the secondaries. And then when you're in there, you have a choice of three things. In this case, we're going to turn on the solenoid, which is F1. So we hit F1. This reads secondary vacuum in kilopascals. And the voltage, if we hit the up arrow, it's going to energize the solenoid. You can hear the pump running. And then it shuts off. You hit that, it shuts off. Hit the up arrow again. Shows you what the pressure is. Shows you what the voltage is. And then it shuts itself off. So that we can see what's happening under the hood, I hooked up a scope. And this is the actuator on the driver's side. And you can see as the Tech 1 energizes the solenoid, this actuator pulls all the way in. I uh, moved over to the other side, which is on the, the passenger side. And you can see when we energize the solenoid that it's only pulling halfway in through the actuator. I can't tell if it's a mechanical. It looks like a uh, piece of tubing is blocking it or if there's something else or just a weak actuator. So it's something we're gonna to have to investigate.